Right, hello everybody, it's Adam South End going back again and uh, this time we are over in Benfleet um, again on a massive punt uh, where I'm is actually South Benfleet just by the railway station which is just over there and uh, what it is, there was a battle here about a thousand years ago uh, between the Anglo-Saxons and the Vikings which I think I covered on one of the Canvey videos or probably both of them um, so yeah, just going to Give it a bit of a punt, see if you can find anything, you never know. I'm going to have a quick scan around so you can see the area. And uh, there we go. Let's just get the lights up a bit. I mean, tonight I've actually got a bit of light, <laughs> which is uh, something. But there we go. Um, that's the area. So when they were developing this, they found um, bits and pieces uh, which relate back to um, the Vikings and the Saxons. Uh, now I think as I said in one of my previous videos, uh, the Vikings were beaten off of here, they were defeated by the Anglo-Saxons. Uh, the Anglo-Saxons were quite in entrenched here, um, they had a well um, defended fort and uh, they were able to uh, defend it very well. And in fact the church up here, St Mary's, was built shortly after that happened. Uh, maybe I'll do something over there in a, in a future episode, but uh, yeah, tonight we're just going to run through the... Um, let's get his lights down a bit. Oh, it's in my face. There we go. Right, yeah, so tonight we're just going to uh, have, give it a bit of a punt, see what we can find. We may find nothing, we may get stuff come through. Uh, we'll see what happens. So uh, tonight again, Kira's not with us, but uh, Ricky and Tracy are back with us Hi. again. Hiya! And uh, yeah, just out to see what we can find. So bear with us and we'll be straight back. Okay, so we're back with you again. Um, yeah, we're just going to go for the usual bit. I'm going to try and keep it a bit brief because I don't know if anyone's going to stop walking through here and giving us any funny grief. So we'll shout stupid things out. <laughs> yeah, like that. So we've got two pubs just behind us and uh, I say it's, it's the living that worry me more than the dead though. So um, anyway, well, we're going to crack on. There's the old meter. That's just gone up. See that? That's just blipped already. Well, that's just a what's it? I don't know. Right, if there are any spirits or entities that are here, particularly if you're an Anglo-Saxon or a Viking, that you fought here, yeah, really going. that might be the train. Possible, yeah. Let's see if that goes. We're staying constant. Yeah. Oh, the train has just left. Right. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my little. Oh, we're definitely. Oh, that can also affect it, the light. Right, I don't know. It could well be. It's that light. I'm just going to flick. Do you want me to walk up there with it so there's no light and you can see if it is? I'm just going to switch this back off and on again. This is the trouble, see, I had this, if you remember, I had this at uh, St Michael's Church over in Pitsy Mount because we had that blooming area right on top of us. Uh, this was coming through, so I, I don't know, really don't. I'm just going to reset this. Okay, so that's off. All right, we can see that. Let's try that again. If there's any spirits or entities that are here, particularly if you're an Anglo-Saxon or Viking descent, you can make yourself known by lighting my meter up. You can make these lights move and tell us that you're here. Can you do that? Does this mean anything to any of you? What's here? This focal point. It's just someone up on the bridge. Yeah, it's just going up to our bit. But then it's just gone off again. So I don't know if that's the electric phasing or if it's something's here. I'm going to put my uh, REM pod on because I haven't oh, I've forgotten that. So, here's my REM pod, I'm just going to stick that on. This is off. Right, I'm going to leave that here. It's just right behind me. Right, you can make yourself known, you can come and stand by us. Come and stand by us, let my meter off. If you were here. Can you let yourselves known that you're here by standing next to this statue?
That's the only annoying thing with these things. It's if you're near a lot of electrical stuff. That's what's happened. That's what's. I think I had it once before. Funnily enough, when I went up to, um, when I initially went over to uh, Thorpe Bay, mm. and I was just having a walk around the area, and I just had this on. I weren't asking questions or anything, and I went past this sort of thing, and it just went of its own accord. So I'm thinking it could be whether these, the phase is changing these lights or what. I'm gonna put this forward. Okay, if there's anything here, you can come and stand by us. Stand right next to me. So it's just gone up to Amber again. No train this time, right? No, but as I say, there's, we've got that right behind us. That's, that's what I'm saying when I was in, and it's just gone off again. What about if you move further back to the back end of the statue? But yesterday at Thought Bay, weren't we in by a light then? Uh, and that didn't go off then? No. We weren't, no, because all the lights are up on the on oh, the road. Right the, yeah, yeah. And we, we was right in the park. It only really goes off if, when you're quite close to it. Um, okay, if you're here, look, I'm going to touch a statue. Can you come and stand next to me? Can you make my lights move? I bet if I walk straight back again, that'll go off. Well, then that's it. We'll prove it's bunk, it? Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, I'm inclined to think that that is probably due to electrical cable running underneath us. So, uh, well, yeah, yeah, normally it, it wouldn't be like that. And I would think if something was that strong, they'd be setting this off as well. So, um, I'm going to go to the dowsing rod, see if I can get anything. It's weird, I was a little bit drafty earlier, I'll put this on, I'm warm now. It is warm. It's, yeah, it's really odd. I'm going to put this There's check. no weirdos here except us. Yeah. I mean, this is all, I mean, the funny thing is, although, I would say, this is all Norse stuff. I can't really see anything that's... Uh, relates to Anglo Saxons, despite the fact that they won. Or did they? Well, they did, though, yeah, because <laughs> uh, that's what the church was put up for, and um, they weren't, no, pe people that come from Scandinavia weren't Christian, mm. not that time anyway. They died COVID 19. <laughs> 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 uh, made us turn the stuff then. Right, okay, so we're going to go to the Dows and we'll see if I can pick it up. I'm just going to move this back again because I don't want to kick it over. You can see that's working, the only thing that's going to pick up is physical movement. Which hopefully isn't the bus. Right, so just going to um, try and get my mind clear of it. There's it. If there is any entities or spirits that are here, you can say yes by crossing my rods. Are you able to do that? Can you cross my rods to tell me you're here? If you're a Viking spirit or an Anglo-Saxon, you can cross my rods to tell me you're here. You can tell me you're here by crossing these rods. Not here to hurt you. I'm only coming here with respect. Okay, she's quite interesting. No, that's a. That's a bit of an unsure yes. A, a very definite yes is when they actually. <laughs> Okay. Whoever's just done that, thank you. Are you able to 
the step backs is only crossing the three steps. I've, I can feel the wind on my can, back. Can, it's right. on my back. Okay. Yeah, no. Right. Whoever's just crossed my rods, can you point the rods to where you are? Can you do that? Point, to, point in the direction of where you're standing. Are you directly in front? Are you behind my... If you were behind my lights, can you cross my rods to say yes? If you're behind my light. Okay. That's difficult to tell, really. Right in front of the light. Uh, if you're in front of my light, can you cross them? Can you point my rods to where you are? To actually where you're standing? Can you point the rods to where you were standing? Pointing outwards. Big person? Yeah, could be, it was more than one. Mm -hmm. Alright, okay. I'm just going to let this stand again. I'm going to ask one more, two more questions. Okay. If you're the spirit of an Anglo Saxon, can you cross my rods? An Anglo-Saxon. If you're an Anglo-Saxon, can you cross these rods? I'm not here to hurt you. I might be a Viking, but I'm not here to hurt you. And I hope you're not here to hurt me either. Okay, if you're an Anglo-Saxon, can you cross these rods? If you were a Viking spirit, you can make yourself known by crossing my dowsing rods. If you're a Viking spirit, any Viking spirits that are here, cross my rods to tell me you're here. Viking spirit, if you're here. Viking spirits, I mean you no harm, I'm one of your descendants, I'm not here to hurt you, I want to talk. If you're a Viking spirit, can you tell me you're here? Okay. It's a cross, isn't it? That is, yeah. It's a cross. That's not a very definite, but that's, a, that's as good as... So, you are a Viking spirit, thank you. I said I'm one of your descendants, I'm here out of respect for you. I'm not here to hurt you at all. Still going. I think that's quite a definite, yeah. looks like quite a good response actually. So you can see there if you're watching this, I've asked if it's an Anglo-Saxon, there's nothing there. I've asked for Viking. That's crossed. Okay, as I said just now, bear in mind, it was the Vikings that were defeated here, unfortunately. They did win elsewhere. If you're the spirit and you can hear that. You did win elsewhere in this part of the land, just not in, the, in Benfleet. In fact, it's quite a good one because King Canuck uh, done quite well. 
Thank you. We're going to go to the spirit box and we'll see if we can talk to you now. And if you want to physically come and stand with me, you can do so. You can stand behind, actually. I'll put this in front. I mean, after yesterday, it had been so windy and everything. I don't think this is going to affect it, so... Yeah. If you want to come and stand next to me, you can do so. You can tell me you're here. Just stand right there, and I'll know you're here. So that's so all you've got to do, just stand. I've actually kicked it and it wouldn't go off. All right. So, yeah, we're next going to go to phone, speaker. Thank you. Okay, just before I start, if there's any spirits or entities that are here, I'd just like to remind you, you cannot attach yourselves to Tracy, Ricky or myself. You also cannot attach yourself to any of our equipment or possessions. So, uh, we're just here out respect for you. All we want to do is have a communication. So here we go. Right, well, let's just start. Okay. Hello? Here. Who's here? There's a spirit of Viking that's here. Can you okay. If there's a spirit of a Viking here, can you say yes? Me. Is that the spirit of the Viking, the one that said me? Okay, I sound like I've got something there. Um, did you move my dowsing rods? Here. Did you move my dowsing rod? Yes. Can you give me your name? Um, I'm really going to have to listen for this. Stop. Well, that, I thought you said Jane. Jane. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Jump that one. <laughs> yeah, they can do that. Okay, you. can you repeat your name, please? Quietly. There's only something Scandinavian there. Well, it's, it's not going to be an English name. No. Hello? Yeah. Well, you just said hello. Thank you. Can you tell me when you died? Was this place... Was this place... Was this place marshland? I think that was a yes. Was there woods here? No. Who did you fight? Who did you fight? Like it. Did you say battle? Oh. No. Okay. How did you die? Okay. Did you did you say sword? Did you say sword? Was you killed by a sword? So I found sword. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. When I was developing this area, I found swords. Okay. Oh. Sound like they said pumpkin. Pumpkin. Where did you come from? What is he doing? Oh, shit, I couldn't do that. Could you repeat? I think I've got ten mark. Right. Here we go. Oh. Where? Where? Okay. Sure, just said it again. Sure, again. Did you come from Scandinavia? Okay. How 
did you get here? You was trapped here. Did you get here by bus? Oh. Here. Okay. Leave. Did someone say leave? Eh? Hey? Kill. Kill. You was killed. Are we, in, are we in danger? It's been quiet. Yes. Yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Am I in danger? So. Yes. Why am I in danger? Can you tell me why I'm in why I am in danger? No. I'm a descendant of yours. I should not be in any danger. Uh, oh. <laughs> Can you see what's around my neck? Two shins. Could you say that again? Yeah. <laughs> Did someone say Mjolnir? <laughs> Leave. Okay. I'm going to knock this on the Okay. Would you like us to leave? You're, you're scared. Are you scared? We do not mean you any harm at all. I want you to talk with you. Very respect. Okay. Is there anything you want? Is there anything you'd like to tell us? Hide. What? Did you say hide? You're a good spirit. Sound very good. 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 Okay. Do you like us now? You want us gone? Are we in danger from the Saxons? Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, you are. I will be, yeah, you won't. <laughs> I mean, Tracy's safe. <laughs> Is Tracy and Ricky safe? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can you get? Can you uh, say her name? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, what about my name? I'll just say it again, actually. Can, can you say my name? Um, <laughs> Trouble. We're out in the open again, we're just getting coming through freaking and fast. Yeah, and I'm, I'm sort of half listening, friendly things beyond me. Oh, trying to block everything out. Jeez, I thought it was that for a minute. It was the, <laughs> it's alright. <the> <laughs> I thought my REM pod had gone off, it was the train, the doors are just shut. That's how close we are to the train station. I think I should leave again. I can go by the train if you like. Okay. Oh, please, okay. Right, I'm.
Yes. Okay. Right, we're gonna we're gonna um, we're gonna leave you in peace very shortly. Um, if there's anyone that really would like to make their presence felt, you can come and stand next to me. I have a little machine that will tell me you're here. Can you come and stand next to me? Stand on my right hand shoulder. Come and stand by my right hand shoulder. No. Okay. Weird. No. Are we talking to a Saxon rather than a Viking? Are we talking to a Saxon pretending to be a Viking? Are there coins here? In the In the hole. Is it in a hole? In the so it's under something. We're good at come over a metal detector. Okay. What? Yeah. <laughs> Who's got a metal detector? Trevor and Jane. Oh, of course he has, yeah. Tell him this bait will be over a lot of shit. No, coins will be over a lot of shit. Oh, that's also true, yeah. Uh, I think you might need permission at the council, though. Yeah, right. cool. Oh, will <laughs> I suppose you'd turn up here later on, and I was going to say anything. Right. I hope that was a good one, mate. Right. <laughs> did, did someone say my name again? Yes. <laughs> Alright, just going to ask you to repeat my name one more time. Can you do that? I see what? Okay. Do you know my surname? Is that? I don't know. Would you like my surname? Please. Oh, it's Bow. Does that sound Does that sound familiar? Bow. Quiet. I'll just repeat one more time. My surname is Bow. Do you hear something? Yes. Okay. So that tells you I'm Scandinavian. Okay, right. Can you see the statue? Can you see the statue just in the distance? No. No. Of the boat. Can you, can you see the front of the boat? Quest. Quest. Maybe the boat's name. Could have been. I don't know what they called their boat. Drawn. You drawn to the boat? I just felt a draft in my hand. Was that you? Just put a draft in my hand. Coming back through again. Okay. I'll just have your name again. Yes. Who called my name? Who called my name? Do you have a message? Okay. I'm going to go for the edit for some of Yes. Okay. Alright. Well, I'm just going to leave you with one more thing. I'm going to leave you at peace. Uh, we all live in peace here now. The Vikings and the Anglo Saxons. We all do. So I hope that's uh, for some comfort. We'd like to thank you for your communication tonight. It's been really good. So I thank you again, and just to remind you, you cannot attach yourself to myself, or our equipment or possessions. Thank you, yes. 
Right, so there you have it. Um, quite a good response, I thought. Um, I always found I drive past this place. Well, I say every day, but um, part of my daytime job. I'm around here all the time, and it just felt like we should be the done thing to come and see what's here. Um, I'm going to go through the edit on this, obviously, as we always do, and uh, see what we can pick out. But uh, I felt that was a good response. Like, we may well come back again, possibly when it's weather's a bit crappy, I think, and it's a, and bit, a bit later. Well. And a bit later, less yeah. Noise. Yeah, less noise definitely. When there's no trains beeping at me. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, we're going to leave it there, and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll come back at some point. I think there will be a part two. This is such an open space. I just picked it because obviously it's the focal point. Uh, as you've already seen the, st uh, the statues, these bits here. Um, anyone that knows Viking mythology knows what they are. The mule so I wear one around my neck, um, and the, uh, the serpent as well. Uh, that's another story, but the the myths and legends of Viking mythology, it's so fascinating, it's really worth reading, because it's completely different to uh, Christian mythology. In some respects, and in others, it's very, very similar. It's just spelt in a different way. I don't know if you can see from here, uh, there will be photos, um, but over there is a statue of the front of a Viking longship. Now, that's what originally pricked my interest in this area, uh, because... Um, as I said, driven past it every day, and there's a sign below it, you know, just briefly describes the Battle of Enfleet. Um, so, um, yeah, as I said, I think uh, maybe we might come up, we'll possibly do one at St Mary's Church. We could even split into three parts, really. But I do feel we should come up with a metal detector. Mm -hmm. That'll be good. Right, okay, so uh, yeah, we're going to look that one on the head. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget. Um, Give us a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Go and check all my previous content. I upload every week. Uh, it comes at every my episodes come out every Thursday. So uh, yeah, just go back, check what I've already done. I've got loads coming up as well. So take care of yourselves. We'll see you again. Take care. Good night. Good night. Bye. Right. Okay, so there you have it. That was our first investigation into Benfleet, and um, yeah, that was uh, quite interesting. Now, uh, one of the difficult bits about doing this was um, when we're going over the all, all the spirit box um, conversations is that it's a lot particularly trying to hear the names was that obviously not going to be like an English name like Sid or Bill or stuff like that. It's uh, going to be whatever the names were at the time and uh, when, when I go over the edit I have to speed the sound up, slow it down, you know, just to try and pick the words out. I don't, I'm not always successful. That's why I ask, you know, if you hear or see anything, then add a comment down below and uh, tell us what you think. But as I said, I do feel that uh, there's more to be had from Ben Fleet, and uh, we're making plans to see what other parts that we can look at. I think quite probably around the St Mary's Church area more than anything I think and feel that's what I feel is that that's where I should be looking also um, you should also check out my St Andrew's Church investigation because in, in a roundabout way it sort of links up what, go, what went on in the area you know we, we don't really think how far back the history goes for, for this neck of the woods but it, it does literally go back about a thousand years the, the, the church up in St Andrews in Ashingdon, for example, I mean, that's been there a thousand years. Uh, St Mary's has been there a long time. So, um, yeah, there we go. It, that's uh, our first part for Ben Fleet. Go and check out the Canvey ones as well, because I've got some very interesting content for the, that. Uh, that will be coming up next week, I believe, The where we I think we did actually find a Viking ghost. Or if not, it definitely was a Viking spirit. So you need to check that one out. Also... Uh, I will provide some links below where you can do a bit of further reading uh, into the battle that went on here, you know, uh, and a little bit of history of Benfleet or, or, or what happened back then anyway. So it just sort of gives you a, you know, a broader idea on uh, what was what, what what had gone on here. Um, I mean, do bear in mind as well that obviously you'll read it in the um, 
in, 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 the, in the descriptions but uh, obviously that area didn't always have a train line it didn't have houses it was marshland it was forest you know we, we find it hard to think in terms of that but that's how it was and obviously there was no street lighting there would have been no lighting of any sorts really apart from the moon and whatever uh, flame torches I suppose I don't know um, I'm not a historian I've got an interest but uh, that's uh, pretty much as far as I, I can take it anyway that's it for me hope you enjoyed this take care and we'll see you on the next one goodbye